Alright, welcome to this video. We're going to solve lead code problem 938, range sum of BST. Now, I want to say uh, ahead of time that this is a incredibly easy binary search tree problem. I would never expect this to be on an on-site interview. However, I would expect this to be asked quite frequently in, say, a technical phone interview, right? Or technical technical phone screening because it will easily... Uh, filter out the candidates that don't know what BST is. It could be the new fizz buzz of the programming world. So let's go over the directions. Given the root node of a binary search tree, return the sum of values of all nodes with value between left and right inclusive, and the binary search tree is guaranteed to have unique values. So these are the examples I, uh, they give, but I personally am a visual kind of person, and so Let's do a visualization, right? I'm on the Visual Algo website, and remember that a binary search tree, right, is this tree where all nodes left children have smaller values, and all nodes right children have larger values, right? So let's say they pass a, excuse me, let's say they pass a left and right of 10 and 40, right? So the numbers in this BST that are between left, that are between 10 and 40 inclusive are 25, 16, and 32. So add these three numbers together and well, give our final output. And of course, since we know in a BST that left children are smaller and right children are larger, we can traverse this BST accordingly, right? So I'm gonna solve this. And of course, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notifi notified of new content. And I have full length courses on my website, kaeducation.com. All right, so let's solve this. I'm gonna use a depth first search to traverse my binary search tree. And depth first search makes use of the recursion call stack. So I'll use recursion. If recursion's not your strong suit, don't worry, it's not mine either. Whenever I do recursion, I like to make use of helper method recursion, which makes it easier for me to understand how recursion works and it's easier to explain. So let's get started. So I'm gonna say here, let total sum be equal to zero. We're eventually gonna return this, right? And then for helper method recursion or helper helper function recursion, whatever, you need a helper method or helper function. So I'll call this DFS. You can also call it helper. DFS takes in a node. I'll say if no node was passed in, we'll do a return to avoid errors and to avoid, say, infinite call stack, that kind of thing. Now I'll say if node.val, and we only hit this if check if we have a valid node, right? So we, we don't have to worry about null.next or undefined.next. If node.val node is greater than or equal to left and node.val is less than or equal to right, and I do this uh, greater than or equals to and it's less than or equals to because lead code clearly states it's inclusive, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have these uh, equal signs here. And that's true, right? It's in between inclusive. Well, we'll say total sum plus equals the uh, node.val. And then let's traverse to left and right if we have to. If, le if the left boundary is less than node.val, we will do our DFS, right? We'll recursively call DFS again on node.left. And I'll say if right is greater than node.val, DFS node.right. Okay, so we just defined our helper function that does a recursion or the helper method, whatever. Should be a function actually, so helper function. And I'll say DFS root because we just defined our function, now we actually have to call it, so I call it here. And DFS takes in a node, and we're gonna use the root node passed into range sum BST, so I do a DFS root. And then once I do DFS root, it'll do all this code, call itself recursively, traverse the BST as necessary, modify total sum to be accurate. So DFS root, then return total sum, so I'll save. Copy it, head over to the lead code website, paste it in, and hopefully it'll pass their test. All right, we are good to go. So, 
What's the range sum of a binary search tree complexity analysis? Time complexity is O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Again, we're thinking about worst case scenario, right? And space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of the tree. All right, I'll see you guys in a later video.